welcome back to another cooking with me video and I'm gonna hope this isn't a dumpster fire um so I decided since I did this at the beginning of the year that I'm gonna do it again at the end of the year um and I'm gonna cook some pasta um it's like partially pre-made pasta that I bought at Publix uh, and we're gonna do the end of the year book tag um because I had a lot of fun with that video the last time I did it even though it was a recent reads video um and it's gonna give me something to do while we talk okay so that's the first part so um I guess I should introduce the pasta before I get too far so yeah I had it sitting on the coffee pot we're not gonna discuss it so I bought this um butternut squash ravioli with ricotta and parmesan cheese at Publix it's like ready to go it's little round raviolis and um I'm excited to try it um and I don't know if this is a choice so a good choice sauce to go with it this once again this could be a dumpster fire but I got some vodka sauce as well um and I'm not really sure what to put with it as a side so um I guess I guess we'll figure out I have can of green beans in here I don't know if that's a good idea we'll see you know what I'm gonna do it anyway so we're just gonna we're gonna get a can of green beans and we're gonna go with it so first thing I have to do is get a pot because I didn't I clearly wasn't prepared so I will be back with a pot all right we're back with said pot so definitely gonna add some salt in here is that enough salt oh, shit I hope it is and um the first question we're gonna get started with is have you completed your goodreads challenge um i actually did complete my goodreads challenge um i believe it was eight books this go around um and or was it seven I think it was seven. Maybe it's seven and I've read eight. Uh, I'm not a very fast reader. But I have completed my Goodreads challenge. I cannot get this pasta open right now. Maybe I shouldn't open it yet. Is that a rule here? That kind of is a rule here, actually. Um, I'm not supposed to put the pasta in yet. So I guess I have to bring said water to a boil. So, as well. Okay, Publix, y'all really didn't have to go all out with the sealing of this package. I'm gonna end up, if I keep fighting with this, I'm literally gonna end up with the hot wings that are in the fridge. This is ridiculous. Update, my water is not boiling. All right, well, this water is not boiling very fast, so don't know what's up with that, but I'm gonna cook some green beans too, so we just gonna have a good time with the can opener I can't find. I wish this could go as smooth as like 
the TikTok cooking videos do because that would be great. You know? the butter almost falling down I promise I'm a professional like I promise that I am a professional and an adult all right so um I gave up and I went ahead and started um the green beans to see if they would do anything, you know, kind of try to time this correctly. Um, so I've got my green beans going here and my water still has not started boiling, even though it's definitely not on low. Um, so we're just gonna keep going. Um, question two is, do you have a transition book? Uh, well, actually that's the short version of question two. Question two is, do you have an autumn, autumnal transition book? Um, and I'm assuming that means a transition book from fall to like the end of the year. No, I don't actually. Um, I don't have one of those. So, um, actually I'm not reading anything. Well, I am reading something right now, but I'm not um, reading anything that I've brought from autumn to now. Um, nor do I have like a transition book that gets me ready for the end of the year. So, um, there's, there's that. Oh, the green beans are doing something. Hmm. Oh, maybe the water hasn't, but I don't have, um, I don't have a transition book is the short answer. I feel like this should be up here, <laughs> not the pasta. Um, so the water's starting to do something finally. Um, so oh, that looks fun. Oh, maybe I should have kept the instructions out. Um, return to a boil. Okay, so when they start boiling really good, um, I guess this one will drain it and it'll be a good time. So, there's that. So, um, now that I got the pasta in here and it's boiling, um, also, these are like why does this pasta shape like remind me of an over easy egg? Maybe that's me. Maybe that's me, but I don't know. It just reminds me of an egg. So. All right, we're stirring some green. This is the most basic green beans. I'm telling you right now, these are not some bougie green beans. Um, number three, is there any new releases you're still waiting on. Um, the short answer to that is no. There's there's none. I don't keep up with new releases very well because um, I'm very much just a mood reader, so it really doesn't matter if there's a new release. Um, now the newest release from an author that I um, have read recently that I don't own is um, Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I don't own that. But it's not be for any reason, um, like any, any like, I guess, foul intent reason or malintent. Like, um, it's just that I genuinely, like, I've only read one book by her. I really liked it. Um, but I don't know that, like, a sports book is something that I'm interested in. Like, I just, I genuinely just don't know. I'm interested in that. Like her other books, um, maybe even some of her backlist, like romance titles, 
um, I would be more interested in. I just gen I like genuinely don't know, and I don't want to spend the money on a new release that I'm not sure about. I'd rather spend that money elsewhere, you know? Um, and what are, and number four, because we're getting somewhere here. We're getting somewhere. This water still isn't boiling. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Like, these green beans are going to be, like, nice and ready, and I'm still going to be waiting on my water to boil. Like, what is this? And I think this actually needed more salt than what I put in here, so. There's, there's that part of things. I mean, they actually, they look like they're starting to become done. I'm just, I'm not sure. Maybe I shouldn't have bought a new pasta to try in this video. Maybe that's where I went wrong here. Maybe I should stick to the desserts. I don't know, that was kind of chaotic too. So maybe that's just like the energy that these videos are going to be. It's just chaotic from start to finish. Hmm. Maybe so. Well, number four is what are three books you want to finish before the end of the year? Um, so we discussed this um, earlier in this video where I don't, I'm, I don't read that fast. Um, so I don't know that I could get three books done before the end of the year. I could do three short stories for sure. Like I could for sure do three short stories but, or like maybe a graphic novel but I just don't feel that a graphic novel or a short story like just to say that I read three more things before the end of the year is really is really there you know I'm really in this moment I don't know if I've mentioned this I'm really in this moment of like really wanting to savor what I read and really just going after what I genuinely think I'm gonna enjoy and not just like rushing to the finish line like if I'm not enjoying it I put it down like I'm, I'm really in one of those moments where I just like I want to just like savor it and enjoy it and sit with it um which I've never been like a very fast reader anyway but especially like in the last few years of me like really getting back into reading it's still a very casual hobby for me so um that's where I am with that so I'm definitely not gonna finish three books before the end of the year like that's just not a thing but if I had to choose three things before the end of the year I would probably choose um at least one or two of the Eric LaRocca books I have that I haven't read um, one of the horror novellas I have that I haven't read. Um, and there is a short story um, that one of the women at my, the local bookstore I go to all the time suggested for me to read after I finish Tender is the Flesh, which I have recently finished. So I do genuinely kind of want to read that short story because um, it's kind of a similar like it's set in the future. What are those books called? Where they're set in the future. It starts with a D. All the all the YA books were doing that for a moment where everything was set in the future. I can't think of the word, but anyway. Um, and it's kind of the same concept, just a little different. Um, so I could definitely do something like that, but like I said, I'm not rushing into anything at the moment, so there's that. Wow, I just, I got, I got wild here. I got water everywhere. I don't know what's going on there. All right, we're putting our sauce in. Finally, we have finally made it to this point. Oh. 
Okay, this sauce is a beautiful color. I don't even know if you can see that. I've never tried vodka sauce. I mean, it smells like something that I would definitely enjoy for sure. Like, there's no question there. Um, I've got, I don't know if anyone else is going through this moment. I'm so tired of marinara. Like, is anyone else just, has anyone else ever reached to that point? Or is that just like totally a me thing? judge me for this now that we're back here on our questions um is there a book that could still become your favorite of the year um hands down like 100 percent because i don't think i've read anything that's been above a three or four stars this year um so they're definitely is some potential there um, for a new favorite of the year um, if I'm gonna read something. Um, 2022 just may not be the year that I have a favorite read because I just I've I've enjoyed what I've read as I've said um, that I'm trying to enjoy what I read and really just focus on that but I just I haven't had anything that's just really mind blown me. Um, I mean, I've had a couple of things that have really sat with me and really resonated with me, but I haven't had anything that's just like insane. Uh, I mean, I enjoyed, I would have to say, if I had to choose a favorite book this year, spoiler alert for like, I guess my 2022 like wrap up. I would have to say it would be The Beautiful just because like I genuinely enjoyed that and I, I think that like car carrying on into the series um, I'm gonna enjoy it so if I had to choose that for sure would be it um, or maybe even Tinder is the Flesh which I know I haven't discussed quite yet um, on my channel but one of those two would probably be it. Um, I'm, I'm planning a video. Um, let me know if it sounds like something that you would want to hear. I, I'm kind of planning a video similar to the tier ranking, but like I don't have enough books to even qualify for too many um, tiers um, where I discuss like everything I read and I kind of like place it, but it's not going to be like exactly the tier ranking chart, but it's going to be really similar. Um, let me know if you'd be interested in that or give me some ideas on that because I really would kind of like to do a video like that, but I don't know if I'll make it. There is a piece of hair stuck in my glasses of mine and it's tickling my nose and I'm like cooking food right now. All right, I fixed myself. I've composed myself. Now I'm gonna start to clean up my mess a little bit. far. I have to be really honest here. This is going to be really weird. Um, this pasta smells like Chef Marty ravioli. Brawley, did you have to be hollering right now? Okay, what I was saying, what well, before Brawley decided she needed to put her two cents in, um, have you already started making reading plans for 2023? I have actually. Um, one of the first things I plan on reading in 2023 is um, 
I have, I don't have a lot of things because I'm trying to let things resonate with me. But um, I would like to, um, and this is in no like particular order. Like this isn't from like one, this is what I would like to do the most. Um, but I would like to do the Mindfuck series. Um, I just, I genuinely have kind of been looking at that one and I just, I really want to read it. Um, there is a book that's on my shelf really close to my desk that, um, I think I would enjoy. Um, and I can't think of the name of it, but it's one of the ones I bought at an estate sale and then I, and I hauled. Um, but I just, I think I would, I would really enjoy it. Um, and it's been looking at me for a while. Um, and I would also like to read The Damned, which is the sequel to The Beautiful. And also, I just need to discuss how beautiful this plate of food looks. So, I am going to try this really fast. Oh, I'm, it's really warm, like, maybe I should try my green beans first since I didn't really give those a lot of attention. Um, nope, I did those. I did what I needed to there. I'm kind of worried on this pasta. Ooh. I've never tried this pasta or vodka sauce. Maybe I should have done them separately. I'm going to cut that again because it's really, there's a lot of steam rolling off of there. No, that was 110% a great decision. Heavily recommend the butternut squash from Publix with the vodka sauce. I didn't go wrong there. 100% would have never went wrong there. I don't know why I thought I did. This is delicious. But anyway, as I was saying, I have started my reading plans. I've already kind of discussed some things that I've been thinking about reading for 2023. Um, and I'm going to go enjoy my pasta now. And I will see you next time in another video.